Yes, today we are back with the next part of Jaded Love on the episode Choose Your Story app. If you have not seen the last ones, I click the little link to the playlist to catch up on it, but things are really going good with Lincoln, our quarterback, boyfriend, but not boyfriend yet. He asked us to move in with him. He wants us traveling with him. It's... It's going good, and Ivy, her her wall is coming down. She's starting to feel love again. Things are looking up, except it ended with he's playing his game, and he got injured, and it left off with we don't know what's happening with him, so that is what we're working with here. But I hope you guys are excited for the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Please go follow the amazing author Brie. Her Instagram is in my description box down below. Without further ado, let's start the drama. Link, bro, you all right? He was hit pretty hard, coach. He's not responding. We need a medic. Oh no. Okay, so Lincoln is not looking good. Oh, we're pacing. The anxiety is real. What do I do? I'm sure he'll be okay, honey. But what if he's not? We have to stay calm. What if he doesn't wake up? What if the injury is career ending? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I think I'm gonna puke. I hope please someone give information. Faith. I don't know if you saw, but Link was hurt real bad during tonight's game. Can you meet us at the airport? We're taking the next flight out to Texas. They took him to a hospital, and I know he will want you there. I'm on my way. Okay, Mom, I'm going to the airport. He's at the hospital in Texas. Keep me updated. I will. Okay, so we're off to go. Honey, he's gonna be okay. He's a strong man. He'll pull through it. I know it. I hope so. I hope so, too. I think we all hope so, because we don't need him really hurt. I keep forgetting he has a dad. I see the mom so often. Ivy, you're pacing. Sorry, I do that when I'm nervous. Are you here for Mr. Fox? Yes, I'm his mother. How is he? It looks like he took a hard hit to the head that knocked him unconscious. We see this type of injury all the time with football players. Is he gonna be okay? He did wake up, but he's still extremely drowsy. He'll be all right, but we have to monitor him closely. We'll run a few more tests to make sure there's no brain injury. Can we see him now? Yes, only family. Oh, it's okay. She is family. We need you there with us, Ivy. Okay. Well, <laughs> that was so sweet. That's so cute that they see her as family. Oh, my poor Link, I can't take seeing him like this. Seeing Lincoln hurt lying helpless in a hospital bed scares me. No, no, terrifies me. I know that the doctor said he would be okay, but he can't be hurt. He just can't be. Someone as pure as him doesn't deserve this. It's not fair. I hope he knows I'm here. I hope he knows that I care. Oh gosh. What if he thinks I don't care about him? My mind unravels as I curse myself for not showing him more. All I've done is push him away. I've done nothing but fought his affection and turned down his heart. But the more I push, the more he pulls. I hate myself for being like this. I hate that I've let the men in my life have so much power over me. They've tainted me, poisoned me, ruined me. And now I can't even let someone as wonderful and pure as Lincoln into my heart. I don't want to be like this, I swear. It's just how I thought I was, protecting myself. He should have ran a long time ago. He should have given up on me a long time ago. But he hasn't. He stayed. He's fought for me. So I will do the same. I will not leave aside until I know that he is safe and sound. Because I finally realize that I never needed protecting from Lincoln Fox. Okay, so there was a lot to unpack right there. She is realizing her feelings, the feelings it took, unfortunately, an injury, but the wall is almost done. It's almost crumbled, and she's really realizing her feelings for Lincoln, which is really good, and hopefully when he wakes up and recovers, they can start making progress and starting fresh and positive. Ivy, would you like some coffee? No, thank you. Oh, you need to, you need to eat or something, Ivy. What's, uh, oh, what, what are we whispering about? She's glad. <laughs> but she, he's gonna be okay, Ivy. He just needs some rest. I don't like seeing him like this. Not at all. I know, honey, none of us do. The mom was, like, low-key, like, inside. So excited. She's like, oh my gosh, Ivy's gonna be, like, part of the family soon. We can share a room. Oh, I'd like to stay if that's okay. Are you sure? Yeah, someone he knows should be here when he wakes up. Okay, well, we'll be back early in the morning. Okay, so... She's staying with him. And the mom is like, oh my gosh, like the best daughter-in-law. 
Like, I'm living for this family dynamic. <gasps> He's waking up, okay. Uh. Lincoln, Ivy? Yes, it's me, your pumpkin. She's saying, my pumpkin, I'll get the nurse. I swear, your mom and everyone is on the way. Shouldn't you be laying down though? How's your head feeling? Are you hungry? You think you should eat? Maybe I can get, you came all this way and you've been here all night. Yeah, I was scared. I thought you were really hurt and I couldn't just leave you here. I needed to know for myself that you were okay. Why are you looking at me like that? Nothing. Linky, how are you feeling, honey? That was a pretty hard hit you took, son. I feel fine, guys. I just want to go home. What did the doctor say? The test didn't show any brain injury, so we just have to keep a close eye on him for any changed behavior. I hope... Okay. Y'all, I had an internal panic for a second when he was looking at her strange. I thought he got a, caught a case of that amnesia, and he was going to be like... Who are you? I was so nervous. I thought we were going to have to like roll reverse and like win him over. But I hope you're the one who's going to be keeping a close eye on me. Because already back to your normal self, I see. I told you it would be fine, Ivy. She was worried. Worried? That's an understatement. You could have sworn the doctor told her you only had a few days to live. Don't joke about that. Can I talk to you mo for a moment, Ivy? Alone. Mom, don't. It's okay. I'd be a very afraid if I were you, big bro. You know how mom gets when she's emotional. <laughs> What's this gonna be? Oh no, we're crying. Oh, Mrs. Fox Lincoln is gonna be okay. Just hug her back. Just hug her. She'll talk when she wants to. You really don't know how thankful I am for you, Ivy. Oh, I didn't. No, you don't understand. I may be biased because he's my son, but I know what a great man he is. And I hated seeing him waste his time on those girls who I knew would never give him what he needed. All I've ever wanted was for him to find someone who is just as amazing as he is. And he's finally found that in you. Will you please watch out for him for me? He's not one to complain when he's feeling sick, so I need you to make sure he's really okay. Of course, Mrs. Fox, I'll make sure. Thank you so much, sweetie. And stop with the formalities. You're family now. Oh my gosh, she wasn't even nervous about this whole thing. I thought she was going to be like, um, I like, you know, like classic Ivy back in the day. But no, she was, she's all in. How does he manage to look so perfect even when he's sleeping? I take a moment to examine him while he's in such a peaceful state. This might be my only chance to gawk at him without getting caught. I watch as his muscles, back muscles clench every time he softly takes a breath. Oh, so tempting. I accidentally, ah. Uh, who am I kidding? This one is definitely on purpose. Glimpse a little lower to find him only in his boxers. Don't look, don't look, don't look. No, look, look, look. She's looking at him. She took a glance back there. Lincoln, I made you breakfast. My pancakes aren't as good as Lisa's, but I did my best. Oh, she was looking at some pancakes, all right. I hope that's okay. Lincoln? Lincoln? Good morning, love. Don't scare me like that. Is he okay? Sorry, I'm just so tired. We don't have to go to the retreat. I'm sure the team will understand. He completely ignores me, and the expression that means he's trying to figure me out crosses his face. I watch as his eyes scan my body, doing a quick sweep from my lips to my legs and back up to meet my eyes. A very proud and amused smile graces his face, and he chuckles to himself. What, are you sleeping? Are you sleeping in this thing now? So what if I am? So, so defensive, Pumpkin. I thought we were making progress. I was just going to tell you that I'm glad you kept it. Looks much better on you anyway. Well, good, because I wasn't planning on giving this back. I really think we should just stay home. We should take it easy these next few days. We can order a bunch of takeouts, stay in bed, and watch movies instead. As wonderful as that sounds, we're going, sleepy. I feel fine. I'll get some extra sleep on the plane. Now hurry up. We don't want to be late. He says with a quick smack to my backside. Lincoln, would you prefer a kiss? I'm going to get ready. Oh, okay. I was so nervous. I keep going back and forth like, oh my gosh, did he lose his memory? But it's fine. It's real fine. Link, how are you feeling? What happened out there, bro? You sure you're up for this? I'm all right, guys. It's no big deal. Seeing you lying in a hospital bed was a pretty big deal to me. But 
Oh, my poor baby, how's your head? Okay, it's Camille. You can still play, right? We won't survive play us without you. I'm fine, Camille. Are you lying to me? Is he lying to me, Ivy? He's okay. She's been keeping a close eye on me. Good. Come to find me later, okay? Who is this girl that Link brought with him? You haven't heard? That's his mystery girl. Kind of cute. Super cute. And both of you will be super dead if you keep looking at her like that. He's really serious about this one. Hey, Link, aren't you going to introduce us to your mystery girl? No. Oh, <laughs> I'm Levi. Dion. You know what? Introduce myself. Hi, I'm Ivy Sinclair. Why are they... Y'all need to... Why are they looking at me like that? It feels so different from the way Lincoln looks at me. His intense gaze makes me feel tingly in all the right places. It makes me feel secure, admired, beautiful. But their gaze makes me feel achy and dirty. And not the good kind of dirty either. Ooh. Okay, that's enough. Let's get going. Hey, baby. Stacy, what the hell are you doing here? You invited me, remember? No, I didn't. We haven't talked in weeks. Well, I thought this would be the perfect chance for us to get back to how we used to be. I don't want to be how we used to be. Look, we both know this is never going anywhere. You should just go home. I'm not leaving. Even if you don't want me here, I'm sure there are others who do. Now, please be a gentleman and grab my bags for me. Thanks, babe. No. Uh-uh. No. Oh, no. I'll take care of it, love. Hey, not Adriana, hey bud, feeling better? Oh my gosh, Lincoln, I saw the game. I was so scared for you. Glad to see you're feeling better. You know, Ryder and I are great friends. We were drafted around the same time and have been through a lot together. That's right, you're like a brother to me. And as a brother, I feel that it's my duty to protect you from women like Ashley. Wait, I thought your name was Adriana. It is. She's the one thing you hate most, Ryder. A Jersey chaser. And not just that, but I don't think I've ever met anyone as disloyal as she is. I know how important family is to you, bro. And she's done some dis the most disgraceful things to her own sister. Really? No. Oh, so you're a liar now, too. Don't listen to them. They're out to get me for some reason. For some reason? Looks like you forgot dumb, too, Lincoln. I think you should just go home, Adriana. If that's even your real name. I'm not going home. Been looking forward to this all week. I wasn't planning on this being anything serious anyway. Oh... Ooh, and I really don't have the time to deal with the drama. Good looking out, Link. Wait, please, Ivy, tell him none of it's true. It's true. All of it. Ivy, come on, Lincoln, we need to get our seats on the plane. Ryder. Oh, <laughs> karma. Karma got her. This is what you get for being an awful person. Maybe if she had been a good sister... Or a neutral sister, for that matter. We don't even gotta be friends. You don't gotta, like, like me. But if she was just neutral, then, like, we had nothing in common. But we didn't, like, you know, it's not like we didn't care for each other. But we didn't, like, attack each other or do vicious things. You could have came, but no, you gotta be vicious. So, everybody listen up. It was Leo. The hotel was nice enough to give us this entire floor to ourselves. You each have a suite of your own, so go get settled in for the night. Tomorrow is beach day. Okay, I'm fine with this. I'm ready for beach day. What a nice hotel. Wow, this retreat is lit. You know you have your own room, right? No, we're going to stay with you. I know, but um, I thought I could stay with you tonight. We got to watch you, remember? <laughs> really watch you. You know to make sure that you're okay. What if your head starts hurting or something? You might need me, so I should stay here in just in case. If that's the only reason you want to stay with me, but yeah. No, because she wants to. She likes you. I'm only going to say this once, so you better listen. I'm listening. Seeing you in the hospital really freaks me out. It broke my heart. I didn't even know I had any pieces of my heart left to break, but it shattered when I saw you unconscious. I I don't know what I would do if something happened to you. So please just let me stay with you tonight. I need to be close to you. I need to know that you're okay. Oh, that's my girl. You always amaze me. I'm so proud of you for finally speaking your truth. I know how hard it is for you. But you don't have to worry anymore. I'm not going anywhere. Nothing can take me away from you. Nothing. Oh, this is so cute. You really think I could ever leave a precious girl like you? You can stay with me whenever you want. My arms are always open and waiting for you, pumpkin. 
oh, the relationship is so cute. We better get a new indestructible helmet or something because I don't ever want to see you like that again. I promise I'm fine, sweepy. Let's get some sleep. We have a long day tomorrow. Beach day. Okay, so the progress is wild in this relationship. It's not just a little bit of progress. We made big progress. I unfortunately took an incident to make it happen, but we're doing things. I keep forgetting Jim is on this trip too. Ivy. Ivy. Oh, girl, we're tired. Get up. I'm hungry. Where's Lincoln? I don't know. Marcus was gone when I woke up too. Are you sleeping with him? Mate, hey, yeah. But we're literally just sleeping. We're not going to lie. I swear, if you're banging that man and not giving me all the details, I'm really going to revoke my best friend privileges. I'm not. Yet. Sleep with Lincoln Fox, but I'm actually sleeping with him. You're crazy, Ivy. And probably missing out on a really good time. Let's just get some food. We're, we're going to get to that eventually. I think I saw a cafe downstairs. Let's get some food first. I'm ready for a breakfast sandwich. A croissant. I don't think this is the cafe gym. I thought it was this way. Whoa. We saw something else better. I think I'm just realizing how hot Alex is. Gemma. Mm. Is he okay? Oh, okay. Out of breath already, bud. No, nah, I'm just distracted. Gemma, I think you're rubbing off on me, dude. I can't get her out of my head. Are we hearing this? Welcome to the club. I went to the bar last night because I couldn't sleep. I was talking to some girl and she invited me up to her room. And I turned her down. How do you do this, man? What is wrong with me? You'll eventually realize that those randoms can't give you what you really want. Maybe it's because I'm getting older, but one night stands don't appeal to me anymore. They can never compare a gen to a genuine connection with someone. T. Ivy has shown me that. So I'm supposed to just not get laid and just hope that Gemma will come around? I hope Gemma overheard this. What? How long has it been, Link? Since I met her. I haven't thought of another woman since that day, so I definitely couldn't sleep with anyone else. So she's not ready, and I'm okay with that. She's worth the wait. Good. It's just been a while. A very long while. Damn, dude, I was losing my mind. I think I already have. Um. Hi. Oh, okay, they didn't. They didn't. I thought we heard that whole conversation. I was about to be like, this is... Hey. But no, Alex is like, mighty fine over there. Forget about him. Have you seen my quarterback? Your quarterback? Where? Where? Where did y'all come from? Y'all were the other direction. What kind of horror movie? Would you girls like to join us? We can try some yoga. Downward dog is my favorite position. No thanks. We were just looking for food. We're hungry. So are we. Just ignore them and run away. That's what I always do. But what if I'm kind of... <laughs> I usually just ignore that too. Come on, pumpkin. Let's get you some food and get ready for beach day. Oh, and Gemma and Alex. <laughs> what? I like your PJs. <laughs> She did. She pulled an ivy. Okay, let's get ready for beach day. Ooh, that's cute. I like that. Very, like, mermaid. Okay, I like this one's cute, too. And what's the third one? I like the colors on that one, but I actually really like the first one. It's still dark, but with enough color and light. We're doing this one. We look amazing. You look perfect. Let's go. Ready to go to the beach, beautiful? Yes, I'm so excited. I haven't been to the beach in years. Oh, you know, he's like, oh, you haven't. Oh, you haven't. Lincoln, hello, eyes up here. Sorry, what did you say? I guess this means you like my bathing suit. You have no idea. He better be careful because that bathing suit he's wearing is going to be pitching a tent of its own. Okay, let's have fun at the beach day. Where is Marcus and all this? We'll have a little drink. Where the hell is Marcus? He's been dodging me all day. Just try to enjoy the beach, Jim. I'm going to find him. Gemma, it's time you let that go. What are you looking for? Hi. Hi. So you're the mystery girl that has everyone so worked up. You know, I really wish people would stop calling me that. I'm no longer a mystery, especially after that stupid blog's out of my name and where I work. Better get used to it. That is, if you and Link are really serious. How serious Lincoln and I are is none of your business. Well, if you figure it out by tonight, my room is 108. 
Stop by and wear this. What a creep. Ew. Uh-uh. Oh. Okay, enough of that disgusting. Ugh. You again. If Stanley brings you down that much, then I won't bother you anymore. No, that's not what I meant. What's wrong? That frown on your face doesn't match your usual bright self. What if everyone is right about Marcus? Everyone is right about Marcus. Girl. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings, but you have to face the facts, Freckles. I don't want to see you heartbroken. You know, I googled you. Find anything interesting? Well, it said you were one of the youngest draft picks the NFL has ever seen. And it also said that your favorite cheat day meal is cheese fries and a big bowl of ice cream for dessert. What do you know? The blog's got something right for once. Do you like cheese fries and ice cream too, Freckles? Have you been at Johnny's? They're famous for their mile high loaded fries. Really have never been. Maybe on my next cheat day we can go together. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, you're going to. This man wants to treat you well. Unlike Marcus. What are we doing? Oh, we doing it, y'all. We playing football. Gotta get past me now, pumpkin. Oh, come on. Lincoln, I thought I was gonna make it easy for you. Excuse me? What? What? What the F is wrong with you? We're playing a game, dude. It's just for fun, you idiots. I'm fine, Lincoln. Calm down, quarterback. You had to take it easy, remember? I don't like the way he looks at you. Let's just go back to the hotel. Good idea. This creep. Not only was inviting us up to his room, then he tackled us. I don't understand him. He's disgusting. Someone needs to kick him out of this. Lincoln. Yes, love? What's this? A gift. For what? I thought you might need something to wear tonight. You really didn't have to wear. I wanted to. Get dressed. I'm going to shower. Okay, so what is in this bag? Oh, wow. These are beautiful. I'm surprised he has such good taste. Okay, let's look at these cute outfits. Okay, we got a nice pretty dress. I kind of like this one. It's actually, like, cute. Ah. Honestly, I'm going to have to go with yellow. I love yellow. And it's a cute outfit, so I'm going with this one. Very beachy, summery. I'm feeling this one. Okay, so everyone's here. With me trying to find Marcus, and he is nowhere to be found. Where's Lincoln? He said he would be right back. If this nasty... What is he? I've been looking all over for you. And here you are all alone. What do you want? You. So let's make that happen tonight. You remember my offer from earlier, right? And what offer would that be, Levi? Oh. Tell Lincoln yourself. He told me to meet him in his room tonight. Is that so? I didn't know you two were anything serious. You were told. Let's talk. Let me come this way. Come this way, Levi. Mm. He's a dead man. The funny part is, is he was told, if I remember correctly. Are you okay? What did you do to him? Don't worry about it. He won't be bothering you anymore. How much longer do we have to stay here? No offense, but it's kind of boring. Just a little longer. But ask somewhere I want to take you. You want to take me somewhere? Mm, somewhere fun and a little more private. Are you teasing me? You have to tell me to find out. All right, let's let these two. Um, we got to pee. What? No, but y'all need to have... God, they're so weird. But y'all need to have a little moment together. We need progress. Okay, so we're out here on the beach. You want to take me to the beach? Isn't it beautiful at night? Oh! What are you waiting for, big bad quarterback? Scared of the ocean? No, but I'm not the biggest fan of sharks. I need my lens for football. So you're just going to leave me in here all by myself? And here he comes. See, it's not so bad. That's only because you make everything better. Let's live here. In the ocean? Yeah, I'm sure there's some underwater civilization that will take us in. You're so silly. But that's why I love... Oh, oh like you so much. 
He's coughing. Are you okay? Your head's not hurting, right? I'm fine, sweet Pino, but your heart is good. I still can't believe you came all the way to Texas to check on me. Of course I did. I would have found a way there no matter what. I'm sorry I haven't shown you how much I care, but I do. I really do, and I hope you know that now. I know. I know. Oh, he's looking at me like that again. The makes the toes curl and my core tingle. The way that makes my spine shiver in excitement. The way that makes me think that he's the one, my one. Oh, the space is closing. I don't like the emptiness between us anymore. I need him close to me. She wants to feel the warmth. A wild craving. Oh, the brow is lifting. He knows me too well. I'm really starting to think you have a thing for kisses in the water, love. Maybe I just have a thing for you. Oh, here they go. Another kiss in the water. I crash my lips just like the waves are crashing together. Couldn't resist the urge any longer. The craving for him was too strong. The need for him was too deep. I satisfied sigh. Fear is taking control of the kiss as if he been waiting for this moment his whole life. The ache is formed deep down inside. He think, oh, okay, they're doing, they becoming one. His arms hold on me tight. They're having a little moment. We look like a tangled mess, consumed with each other, lost in each other. A beautiful, perfect, tangled mess. What a good experience for them. Okay, props to them. Oh, oh. Well, look who's over here, Ivy. Where have you been? And why are you all wet? We just got back from the beach. What are you two doing? Alex was just walking me back to my room. We're going that way too. Okay, so it was real nice. Wait, what's that noise? What's this noise? What's wrong? Oh no.